Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Jordan, one of the veterinarians here at the Animal Hospital of Nevin, and I'm here today with our veterinary technician, Dwayne Allred, and our patient, Mr. Tyson. We're here today to illustrate the proper manner to trim your dog's nails. The proper technique uh, to trim your pet's nails um, is oftentimes um, a little scary for some clients, and we know that this is part of a normal grooming routine, and that it's something that your pet's going to need for the rest of its life, so we want it to be an enjoyable experience for your pet. Um, we do understand and we do see occasionally that um, pets with improper nail care that do come in with infections in the feet where the nail is actually grown into the pad and we also see problems where pets actually break off their nails and it's a painful condition resulting in limping and we also see pets that sometimes develop some musculoskeletal disorders for their nails being too long and uh, causing some joint issues and joint problems. The whole proper technique with actually trimming your dog's nails uh, starts with the pet actually having an enjoyable experience, whether at home or in the vet's office. Um, nail trimming should be a positive experience for your pet, and we often recommend that the um, nail trimming or nail, nail care start as soon as they're six weeks old. It's very important for these pets at a very young age to get used to having their feet messed with and for them to correlate that the nail trimming is actually a positive experience for them. And um, what we typically will do and encourage owners when they have puppies, especially young dogs, is to pick out their favorite snack or treat, um, whether it be beef or chicken, or for example, I'm using these lean treats today, uh, and Tyson obviously likes those. Um, but again, we try, since nail trimming is going to be a lifelong experience care for the pet, we don't want the pet to be afraid of it. And there are several different types of nail trimmers that we have. We have the actual guillotine blades, which are kind of designed to um, uh, as a scissor motion that actually do allow the nail to come through the hole and you can press these and actually cuts the tip of the nail and there's also the um, other type which is a scissor type which actually involves putting the nail through the hole gently compressing the uh, scissors and it cuts and makes a clean um, cut for the pet. <clears throat> something to keep on hand um, if you're going to trim the nails at home um, is something called quick stop. It's actually a yellow powder that actually goes on the tip of the nail. Um, I'm going to illustrate in shortly um, how to trim the nail and what happens if you get into what's called a quick and describe that to you and what to look for. But this quick stop and these nail trimmers can be found at your local pet store. And typically um, what we're going to do is illustrate with Tyson today how to um, trim his nails and I'm going to use these scissor type um, simply because he's a larger pet and these are ones that are eas more easily used to trim his nails. Um, I typically will expose the foot and peel the hair back and you're going to notice um, with this nail that his nails are lighter colored. Um, some nails are dark and we'll talk about that in a minute on um, how to deal with those darker nails since those are the ones that you can't typically see the, the quick as well. But the quick is actually a little pink part of the cuticle uh, that has a, a little blood vessel and a nerve in it. That's where we're actually the one that we want to avoid. Uh, and typically if you cut that you will get some bleeding. But what we're going to do is illustrate with Tyson's paws kind of how to make the cut, where to cut, and typically whenever I hold the paw I do peel the hair back on the foot and it's often good to get somebody to help you do this uh, to help hold the pet. And I expose the hair back and I take the little clippers and I slip it over through the hole make a little clip on the end there. And again, always use positive reinforcement for this. So it's a pleasant experience for your pet. And often examine the nail when we're finished to make sure that there's no bleeding from the side. If, for example, I did cut his nail too short, I would take a little bit of this yellow powder and dab it on the end of it here and to control any bleeding. But we didn't do that at all today, thank goodness. And we simply will repeat each one of the nails in a manner. And just remember, um, if your, your pet doesn't necessarily have to have all of the nails cut in one time, it's best to catch these guys after they've had a nap or after they've been laying down almost at bedtime to do a few of the feet. Again, since this is a lifelong commitment they're gonna have to have for normal grooming, we like to, uh, this to be an uh, enjoyable experience for your pet. Um, we are happy, uh, oftentimes we'll give um, free nail trimming lessons to clients who want to do this at home. And um, again, I'm Dr. Greg Jordan with the Animal Hospital of Medvin with our veterinary technician, Dwayne Allred, and our pet, Tyson. Thank you for watching.